for your first step, the number one thing you should do is set up your squad so that every single member either works for a stat mission or PXP mission. And then when it comes to the starting rotation, what I would do is if you have all 95s to get the next guy after you complete whoever's PXP or stat mission up next as the fifth best starting pitcher, you could easily just move it and the CPU won't know the difference besides the placement and it'll put this 95 as your fifth best starting pitcher. And then if for the next game, we finished with Jacob deGrom and now we're working on Patrick Sandoval and we just switch it like this it would put him as our fifth best starting pitcher just because they are all 95 overall Another big tip when it comes to creating a lineup or a team in general is to go ahead and put captains to fill out your entire squad because if you have done all the moments showdowns and exchanges then you most likely have two captain packs so you have two players from every single division and then once you complete whatever mission it is with the captains which are going to be the more tedious ones you replace the captain with either a parallel xp or stat mission inside monthly awards or team affinity 3 that is inside that same division that way you are working on all six divisions at once always in the east conquest map our first step is going to be towards the mets you want to follow this to a t because if you put your territory here they will attack you and you don't want that you are going to face the mets on all-star difficulty and get used to playing on all-star difficulty because at the end of the month the extreme program is coming out and most likely will have extreme conquest which means that you're gonna have to play at least one stronghold on all-star if not hall of fame difficulty be a solid hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the description for the twitch where we stream daily at 9 p.m eastern except for tuesdays and let's continue our next step is going to be a tricky one because for some of you if this three million attacks you guys might win the simulation and therefore not have to go ahead and do the path that i would have to take if i lose the simulation so let's skip to steel fans and it turns out that they actually weren't even going to go ahead and attack our 1 million territory. So it worked out for us even better. What we're going to do now is reinforce this stronghold right here. And with 9 million fans, we are going to attack this 1 million fan territory. And we're more than likely going to have to attack another 1 million fan territory because the Miami Marlins are going to block themselves from being vulnerable with an open spot. We have two great simulations and we're also going to face the Marlins on all-star difficulty. Once you beat the Miami Marlins, you are not going to simulate against any of these 1 million territories because it is just not worth it. You probably aren't going to be high in terms of the simulation. So instead, we're just going to reinforce here. At the reinforcement, we are going to put all of our reinforcements into that leading stronghold. And luckily for us, we were able to go ahead and get a perfect simulation there. And since the simulation is still high, we will go ahead and simulate one more territory and we're going to be able to face the Phillies on all-star difficulty as well. Once the Phillies have been captured, if you have 4 million or less, whatever the case may be, you do not want to attack this territory despite the simulation being high. Instead, just skip to reinforce, reinforce and get yourself 8 million since they can no longer go ahead and make these territories 2 million, let's say for example, and then we attack them. Once we beat them, we will attack this 1 million territory and uh, the simulation did not go our way. So we would have to face the Red Sox on Hall of Fame, which I will not do just because I'm trying to play it all on All-Star for you guys. So instead, we will skip to reinforce one more time and we will face the Red Sox on All-Star difficulty. If your Red Sox stronghold has any Red Sox territories that have 3 million fans, you're going to want to attack them before you go to the next step but if they only have two million fans like these territories do then you're going to want to skip to steal fans and we're going right after the nationals the nationals are ideally four territories away from us and this is going to get closer to the blue jays but it doesn't really matter we're going to move all of our fans over to the six million that's going to get us to 13 with 13 we should be able to face them on all-star difficulty unless we just have the worst simulation ever. 7 million versus 8 million is gonna be all star, let's go. Once the Nationals are captured, you're gonna skip the steel fans phase, you're gonna skip to reinforce, and you're going to reinforce this territory to then move the fans a whole lot easier towards the Baltimore Orioles. With 14 million fans, we should be able to get next to the Orioles stronghold, but if any of these two simulations do not go in your favor, meaning you have less than 5 million fans, or close to 5 million fans, 
you do not want to go ahead and attack this 5 million because the stronghold is more than likely going to attack you as soon as you get next to it. And if you lose that simulation, then they could start eating up the path that you just made. So I'd rather have 16 million somewhere where I'm a little bit safer. And look at that. We're able to get next to the Orioles. Still not ideal for us in terms of the difficulty. So we're gonna reinforce one more time. And this is gonna be on All-Star, which is perfectly fine with us. Once the Orioles have been captured, if there are any 3 million territories next to your territory, you are going to attack them. And then once that has been done, then you could go ahead and skip to steal fans phase. You are going to reinforce in the Oriole stronghold. That way it makes it a whole lot easier for us to grab them and then move them all the way across. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did to the Orioles, to the Atlanta Braves. Let's change the camera angle real quick. So with the 7 million fans, you're following the same approach you had with the Baltimore Orioles. If you get to 7 million and you have around 10 million, around 8 million, you do not want to go ahead and do the simulation. But if you have double or close to double of what they have, then do the simulation so you can get there and hopefully pay, play them on all-star difficulty. Once the Braves have been captured, if this is not 3 million, then don't worry about it. All you're gonna do is skip to steal fans face, skip to reinforce, reinforce this stronghold, and then you're going to move all your fans on over to this top stronghold and we're going to be going after the new york yankees now why because as you can see if we were to go after the blue jays the blue jays have a two million a four million a nine million and a six million so it would probably take us a couple of reinforcements to get up there i'd rather go after the yankees but i'm not gonna face the yankees with 17 million fans why because it is not a simulation that is actually in our favor and we more than likely are not going to have enough fans to then attack the following territory and if it attacks us, we're going to be in trouble. So I'd rather cut off the Yankees, skip one more time to reinforce, reinforce this leading territory. And with 23 million fans, we should be able to beat the 7 million no problem and face the Yankees, maybe even on veteran difficulty. Once you capture the Yankees, you are going to reinforce the stronghold and then you are going to move all the fans over to this 1 million territory. If there are any 3 million territories that are near your path, don't worry about it if you were able to move the fans over here. But if you weren't able to move the fans, then you're going to have to go ahead and capture those until you get your path back. I actually decided that I want to show you guys me capturing the Blue Jays stronghold or going up towards it so you guys don't make any mistakes. You see how we have 21 million fans right now. 21 million fans could capture the 7 and it might be able to capture the 8, but then it leaves a 1 million territory here and most likely us vulnerable at the 8 as well. So then the 12 million is going to have a field day with whichever one of the two it decides to attack. So instead, the smarter decision would be to go ahead and reinforce one more time. Now with 35 million, we can see how well we perform against the 8 million. And it wasn't great, I will not lie to you all. And then we can see how well we perform against the 9 million, and that was a lot better. Now with 23 million versus 12, we should still win it. And hopefully we have enough to deter the 9 million from attacking us. And 6 million is not going to be necessarily... 100% enough, but it did manage to stop them. Now with 21 million, I'm gonna attack the 10 million, and if the simulation goes well, which it does, we are going to be able to face the Blue Jays after they attack us on veteran difficulty. Once you have captured the Blue Jays, you then reinforce down here or down here, since there are no territories blocking it, and make a beeline right towards the Tampa Bay Rays. And that is how you capture all the strongholds of the east team affinity three if you guys did end up enjoying today's content make sure you guys hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the stream it's on twitch the link is inside the description we stream every single day at 9 p.m eastern except for tuesdays those are our days off and there are plenty of other links you might enjoy as well have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out